Hey, what's up? This is Frankie, man. Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion. It may not necessarily be factual. Don't buy, sell, or hold a stock because of anything that I say in this video. Also, do your own DD. Look, if you haven't seen Fast X yet, man, check it out. To me, it was good. It was a good movie. But if you if you go see it, just make sure that you watch it all the way to the to the to the end of it. Even you know after they showing the credits, you know, watch it all the way to the end. You know, but check this out, man. Look, over the past two weeks, I've seen a couple of Adam Aaron influencers, some yes voters. They tried to diminish the importance of the shareholders getting their settlement notification card on time. They was trying to make it, in my opinion, trying to make it seem like it's not a big issue. But it is a big issue if people are not getting their notification card on time. And see, like I was saying, I, I still haven't, I haven't received mine yet. I mean, the deadline is here. I haven't received my card yet. My notification card, my wife hasn't seen, my wife hasn't get, gotten her notification card yet. My friends that's investing in AMC, they haven't gotten their notification, their settlement notification card yet. And when I'm online and I'm looking, I'm on Twitter, YouTube or whatever, I haven't seen too many people say that they got they, they settlement notification card as far as the lawsuit is concerned. You know, I was, you know, and, and that's a problem, man. And something's going to have to be done about it. You see what I'm saying? Because how can retail investors get due process as far as this lawsuit, as far as the settlement, if they're not being properly notified? It's not possible for them to get their objection letter in on time when AMC set the date, but they haven't mailed the, 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 the postcards off yet. So something is going to have to be done about that. And let me say this, man, to the yes voters, the, the Adam Aaron influencers. Look, man, I think that some of y'all have been sucking up to Adam Aaron for so long to the point to where you have become disconnected with what our short squeeze play is all about and what being an ape is all about. And it's so sad, man. They're, they're so desperate now to the point to where they're willing to take advice and get instruction from a short seller, a hedge fund. I mean, when the H start getting information from hedge funds, you know, you know, and I'm I, I'm saying that because so it was supposed it's a, supposedly some hedge fund or and sh or short seller. They wrote a letter to the court alluding to the fact that short sellers is supposed to be afraid of the reverse stock split, afraid of the conversion. When the majority of us, man, we know that's not true. You see what I'm saying? The majority of the retail investors, man, we know that Adam Aaron, we know that the hedge fund and short sellers, they want the reverse stock split. So they tried, like I said in the video yesterday, so they take it, they so desperate, they use it, <laughs> Information that come from a hedge fund or a short seller to try to, you know, influence the community to believe that, you know, hedge funds and short sellers are afraid of the reverse stock split. You see what I'm saying? Which is BS, man. We all know what the business is. You see what I'm saying? When it comes to that, we know 1% of we know they want it. They waiting on it. And see, look, man, if at this point, <laughs> if at this point right now, you believe you're a shareholder after seeing everything that's happened over 90 days. You've been in this stock for over two years. You've been watching Adam Aaron, studying everything that's going on. If you still believe, man, that the reverse stock split and the conversion, those proposals that was put together by Adam Aaron and Terry Capital, if you believe that those things were put together to benefit the shareholders, if you believe that there was no other way for Adam Aaron to raise capital for AMC and protect AMC unless he did a one to 10 reverse stock split. If you don't think the reverse stock split was created to help these criminal billionaire hedge funds delete 90% of their shares and to save them billions of dollars, man, this is what I would say to you. I think, man, you've been taking 
you've been hoodwinked, and you've been bamboozled. Not only that, I think you lack the ability to be able to discern when you being manipulated and you being used. And see, you know how I feel about Adam Aaron. It's just my opinion. But I think Adam Aaron, I think he's a selfish, I think he's a greedy CEO that I think he love hedge. I think he love hedge funds. I think that those are his buddies. And I don't think that he's going to do anything to hurt his hedge fund buddies. Because, see, in my opinion, man, the majority of retail investors do not want those proposals to go through. They don't want the conversion. They don't want the reverse stock split. Not the retail investors. The corporate shareholders may want it, but the retail investors don't want it. But he's willing to do it anyway. He's willing to do He want to do it anyway simply because of the fact that he want to protect his buddies. He can care he can care less about how it harm retail investors or how he feel about it. You know, he just care about his hedge funds, buddies. You see what I'm saying? And see, like, look, this whole ape share, this thing to me, the ape share is complete garbage. It's a garbage stock. And see, and also if you ask me, I feel like when him and Ontario Capital got together, when they created the ape share, I feel like, man, they knew that Ontario Capital was going to short this thing to garbage. You see what I'm saying? And that Ontario Capital was going to come in and buy a lot of it and make millions. And in the meantime, man, our portfolio was going to get destroyed as a result of it. But, you know, Ontario Capital making all the money. You see what I'm saying? I feel like, man, they, 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 they knew that. And not only that, think about it. The eight, the eight, the eight share, man, is so much garbage, in my opinion, that it's a stock that they knew that they was going to kill before they even created it. He knew that it was going to, he knew, man, they had the intentions of killing that stock after they did what they had to do with it, even both, even before he created it. And then he took 40% of my, from my, uh, from what people are saying, he took 40% of our money to pay for it. You see what I'm saying? And look, man, there, and look, if you ask me, there is no difference between short sellers, hedge funds, and Adam Aaron. They all want percentage. They got the same mindset. In my opinion, man, Adam Aaron don't want to see retail investors have a free and fair market. He don't want to see retail investors use the stock market to be a financial wealth and financial freedom for, for themselves and for their families. You can just look and see, man, what he's done to the stock. We sitting here with a five dollar stock that went from seventy two dollars to five dollars. Hey man, that hey look, that didn't have to happen that way. That came in, that came that comes as a result of how he's managing the stock. In my opinion, man, he know exactly what he's doing. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, man, his whole thing is is to take care of one percenters. That's just the way I feel. And let me say, man, this to the yes voters that support Adam Aaron. They they. The Adam Aaron influences. Don't none of y'all need to never complain about retail investors not having a free and fair stock market for them or them not being able to use uh, the stock market to get financial freedom because you working with the up. Y'all working along with Adam Aaron and one percent to make sure it don't happen. So I don't understand why you will be on Twitter and why you will even be on YouTube complaining Talking about, man, you can't get justice in the stock market when you working along with one one percenters to make sure that it don't happen. It doesn't make sense to, sense to me. And I'm going to close with this. I just heard Lou versus Wall Street talking about it. And I think Al from Boston, he's dealing, dealing with this. Tell me this, man. How can our CEO, if this is true, how can he get with another company like Antara Capital? They create the ape share. But now he tell Ontario Capital, look, I'm going to create this ape share for you. I'm going to wait till this thing get all the way to six to eight cents. Then I'm going to sell it to you. I'm going to let you make millions of dollars, you know, off this ape share at the expense of my shareholders. This thing might start off at 10. I'm going to let it go all the way to six to eight cents. I ain't going to sell it at the top, man, so I can pay off debt. Because it's all about you and Terry Capital. 
but I'm gonna need something from you in Terry Capital. I ain't gonna pay off the debt, sell it at 10, but I'm gonna need something for you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sell it to you for six to eight cents. In return, what I want from you, you got to give me your yes vote. Because what I'm trying to get done, I can't get it done the right way. So I'm going to need your help to help me do this. So I'm going to sell you these stocks for six to eight cents. I ain't too much worrying about paying off the debt. I'm more concerned with helping these billionaire hedge funds get rid of these synthetic shares. That's the big thing to me, not the debt. So I need, I'm need. i going to sell you these shares, but at the same time, I'm going to need your yes vote. Because if I try to do this thing the right way, there's no way I'm going to get it passed. So I need the yes vote. Now tell me, man, if that's true. If that's the way it went down, tell me, man, I ain't no t attorney. It's going to be up to courts to find out. It's going to be up to courts to determine, you know, whether this stuff valid or not. But, man, to me, that sounds like some type of fraud or some type of stock market manipulation. And that's why I keep saying, man, Adam Aaron's concern is not paying off the debt. If he was, if his concern was paying off the debt, he would have sold it at seven, eight dollars or whatever, six dollars or whatever. He sold it at six to eight cents because he had another agenda that took priority. What he wanted, man, was that reverse stock split. Like I said, it's a bailout for short sellers. He had met Adam Aaron at this point, like I've said, in my opinion, he's worth billions of dollars. You know, when it comes to these short sellers and hedge funds, it's a bailout, man. Thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.